What's going on? It's Alan Brown, aka Bullet the Kid. And today, I came to talk to you about why you're not standing out in the mix. We'll get to that in just a second. Kick that intro. So um, I've kind of talked about this subject a little bit in the past, and uh, the same answer then is the same answer now, but we're just going to add just a little bit of a twist on it. Basically, in my last video, I said that you may not be standing out in the mix because either your EQ is set to mid-low, uh, like your mids themselves are too low there, and or your hand placement on the bass is not giving that cutting edge to it. So um, this sound here, right? That sound there sounds nothing like Why is that? Simple hand placement. There's more uh, definition towards the bridge because the string itself is stiffer and there's less definition and more fuzz the higher up on the neck you get or higher up on the, uh, when you start to encroach upon the neck fretboard. So uh, this is directly over the pickup and then I'm gonna go up here and then I'm gonna go down here. What you should hear is the further up I go here, the more of a upright fretless sound it starts to produce. And the more that you go back here is a uh, more, uh, let's just say piano, very def defined note presence whenever you're attacking. So let's go here, uh, let's go. Uh So there you go. Now, where does it start to get a little bit messy? It starts getting messy when you start adding effects and you start adding uh, pedals into the loop. But the more uh, the more you listen to what the bass is doing as far as the mid-range goes, the more you can stand out, the more you can cut through, the more defined what you're doing with the pedal is uh, going to stand out in the mix later. It's better to have too much signal almost than to not have enough and try to boost it and then introduce noise and distortion and all that good stuff. You get what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and do this. I'm actually utilizing my uh, bass envelope filter and I have it on just a random regular setting. I uh, really don't even know what this is called. I'm just kind of messing around with some stuff and just kind of seeing what I like on it dialed in. And uh, yeah, so uh, let me actually show you. This is kind of what I have at the present moment. If you can see that. Just want y'all to see that just in case you wanted to dial it in and you had your own. Okay. That's where everything is, even though it's not focusing on me. There you go. There you go. Okay. So go ahead and bring this in. Wow, 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 wow,
So yeah, now uh, I didn't say how I was moving, but I made it very clear where my hand goes up here, where my hand's back here, where my hand is here. This part didn't change that much, but me playing around with the different positions and playing, especially with the pedal that does different things at different spots, and it looks for uh, it looks for peak like dynamics. So the harder you play, the more it peaks faster. So me playing really hard here kind of gave like a Moog synth type sound. And then me playing back here was kind of like a, uh, maybe like a, like a piccolo bass. Like it, the string gauge was kind of lighter. It would be even lighter if I had a pick and I was playing back here too. But um, yeah, so I like what this pedal does and it actually helps to prove the point that uh, mid range and this is a P bass, so mid range is fairly pronounced in it just by itself. So that's the reason why I chose this bass today. And um, mid range presence is very important. I even turned the tone off so that mid can go away a little bit and it kind of did kind of die down as far as articulation and everything it could do. So I dialed it right back in. And yeah, man, uh, just play around, play around. Cause you know, the same bass line could come to life. You could do, uh, let's see, let's go with a, Yeah, man. So just play around with it. Play around with it. You want a moog sound, you know? It just does it, man. So yeah, two different styles, same bass, same setting, just different hand placement, and it forces different things to come out of the bass. So I hope that you picked up something from this. It was fun doing this, but I had the question come and I had to address it. So, uh, yeah, I've been Alan Brown, AKA Bully the Kid. Till next time, y'all be easy.